Well, it's a remarkable episode in British political and media history. Uh, we're going to have a judge-led public inquiry to look at press standards, the hacking scandal and news of the world. Um, Parliament, I think, has had a wake-up call about its obligations to uh, citizens to make sure that their privacy is protected. But I think perhaps more importantly, uh, uh, when you actually look at how this story has emerged, how it's in the consciousness of the nation, you know, people have known about this wrongdoing for a number of years now. Um, there's only a, a very few journalists wrote the story. Nick Davis of The Guardian has been instrumental, but also people like Martin Hickman on The Independent. Very few other newspapers reported this story. I think it's only kept alive because of social media, groups of people on Facebook, on Twitter, um, trade unions using their social media platforms to talk about the message. So for me, it's a really interesting political lesson. It's a lesson for the unions as well, that if you want to get a message over that, it, that is not normally going to get column inches in a national newspaper, use social media. Tom, the next question I'd really like to ask is it goes to the, the heart of your, your answer, actually, the reluctance of media outlets to pursue this story as they've known, for it, known about it for a number of years.